Here we have a typical data use power supply. This one is for uh, games with the medium size DMD display. It's got the correct number of pins here. And this is a MJE15030 and a 031 and another 030 down here. It has uh, five pins at the connector that pulses the general illumination relay. Somebody is taken some extraordinary steps here to make sure that these connections to the GI connector uh, can carry the current necessary. So I'm probably gonna leave that like it is, but all these headers need to get changed. You can see that they are well worn and we've got a little bit of burn on the wafer at this location. The burn on the wafer is inconsequential. The pins, if they're burnt, then those need to be changed out and a little trick you can use because you you can get this the whole wafer they're a little pricey right now but in a pinch and this is typically what i do is pin 12 burns this is the ground pin you can remove this pin and swap it with any of these four on cn2 because these four pins are not used so i typically pull one from here and move it to here and then i put this one back over here <clears throat> data east games the fuse clips are always suspect so if you kind of grab a hold of the fuse and give it a little wiggle if they're still tight and the, the wings aren't flapping around they're probably okay somebody has changed out c2 c1 c4 but they miss c7 which is a uh, a cap that typically leaks on this power supply so I'm gonna clean clean up the installation of these three caps, plus I'm gonna change this cap out. This power supply is shorting somewhere in it, and uh, I haven't had it on the bench to figure it out yet, but it is blowing one or both of F1 and F2. Let me show you this too. These power supplies typically burn fairly badly uh, in the GI relay section. This is GI power in the relay. I'm gonna take a look at this and make sure nothing is shorting. I don't, I don't think it is. But when something is this bad, yet it works, I typically leave it. Here somebody has reflowed the solder on pins uh, 10, 11, and 12 of the wafer. And this is not the right way to do it. You should remove the solder and then flow new solder onto the pins. There's some cracked header joints. I notice certainly over here, this uh, this is a ground uh, pin and this header joint is cracked. There's several other ones that are cracked. So I hate the way Data East does this, by the way, this bending of components over like that. It, uh, Besides making it hard to get the comp harder to get the component out, I always worry that one of these leads is going to bend over and short to an adjacent part. All right, let's get at it. First order of business was to replace these gnarly old header pins. Next up was to repair the traces at C1, C2, and C3. And you can see the trace from the negative side of C3 over to C1 is fractured, so I had to repair, repair that. I also installed a rivet at C2, just so you can see what that looks like. Onto the bench now with this Data East large or medium format 128 by 32 DMD power supply. You can see the MJE15030031, and I'm sorry, that's it. And here's the uh, the last one of those. I have some Molex connectors protecting the header pins so that when I measure the voltages, I don't short pins together and destroy all my work. I found a fractured joint on the relay cube that turns the general illumination on and off. And I think the root cause of the problem here with the um, blowing of one of these two 7-amp slow blow fuses was the missing trace, the, the one that had been pulled up between C1 and C3. So let's power it on and let's check out this GI functionality now. And it is working perfectly fine. So I'm picking up ground at CN2 with my black probe. And we're gonna measure the voltages at the test points. That's the five volt minus 12, plus 12, 
these over the high voltages, just like this. We've got 89, which is unloaded, and that is fine. That'll be about 100 in the game. Minus 113, that was a minus 89, minus 113, 66, which is the other high voltage. We're on to the CN6, the long connector. There's 12 volts. We'll get into the 5 volts pins. And you see that's 5075. So this power supply is good to go. And I thank you so much for sending it. It's uh, still a little dirty, but I am going to wash it down. Thanks again.